Hey traders, Cousin Vinny coming to you on July the 9th with a scan and a look at trades for tomorrow. Let's run the Bollinger Band scan and take a look at what we have. We have a few ETFs. I don't generally like to keep those, uh, but the Latin American share is starting to perk up again. Let's take a look at those. Oh, a nice pattern here connecting this, these pivots. Looks like we're trying to break out above this Kirby level. I look at the components of the Latin American shares. Brazil showing up again as well. Similar pattern, Bollinger Band squeezing, sitting on the 20 period near the 50 and I'm trying to get back above this Kirby level. Stochastics and MACD look supporting to a move higher. Host hotels and resorts, that's a pretty good one. The scooter score is 77.5. Let's take a look at that name. Actually, let's take a look at these in 10 per page format. It's a lot easier to run through these. Alaska Airlines running along the 50 period moving average, consolidating. Recent gains from 69.21 up to $100 a share. Look at the 200 period moving average, cruising higher. This one looks pretty good. I know Mikey likes to trade this a lot. Note the volume. Pocket pivots erasing all of the red day volume for the previous 10 days and beyond, more like 15 days. Stochastics is flat, but MACD is turning. American Axle, you know we've we've been looking at this one, connecting these trend this trend line here of these pivots. We broke out of that level and Bollinger Bands were expanding. We had a long legged doji there, but we have some really nice pocket pivots. Look at the volume in this. So autos are doing really well and American Axle fits right in with those. American Campus Community is a REIT. Looking pretty good. Brandywine Realty. Connect the pivots. We should break above that level. Volume is trying to sneak in. Brazil shares we talked about. CenturyLink. In the Telecom Services group, it's 7% short. We're bouncing off a um, a trend line here on an ascending pattern but if you connect these lows and these highs we actually have a descending channel which I'd prefer versus this crazy pattern that Finviz is showing. So we got this descending pattern consolidation right around the 50, Keltner channel is turning and the 200 period is starting to turn up as well. We got this Kirby to deal with on increased volume MACD looks like it's turning. Stochastics has already turned and is leading the way. Typically when this happens, MACD, if you've got another couple of days for the, the momentum on MACD catches up with Stochastic and we can see higher prices. 37.48 looks to be the next target. I'd look for Bollinger Bands to start expanding here. Colgate Palmolive. We talked about this one yesterday. We have these highs. We tried to break out. We hit the upper Bollinger Band the last two days and looks like we are gonna flag above the Kirby looks good note the volume the pocket pivots we talked about that yesterday stochastics led it is overbought but it could embed with MACD turning to the upside here sure we could come back down and test the 10 period EMA which would be a really good entry as well if you're not already in it Digital Realty Trust, we've traded this one in the past, back here when it squeezed in late April, early May, it broke out and we got a nice six point run there. Move sideways, consolidating, it looks like we're trying to break out, we're running along the upper Bollinger Band. Uh, the lower Bollinger Band is still expanding, so uh, this could break pretty quickly. Note Stochastics has led, we got a, a little coiling action here and MACD is turning. We've got some sneaky volume coming in and we have a pocket pivot here racing all of this volume back to this volume bar here. So that was right before we took this trade, Digital Realty Trust. General Growth Properties, strong. They had some problems back in 2007, 2008. Looking at a weekly on, the, on General Growth, we have this trend here. We broke out and we're moving higher. Consolidating along the 10 period EMA, which is what most institutions watch to uh, add to positions once we see this level hold. And note Bollinger Bands are starting to expand again um, before contracting entirely. 
healthcare REIT, we talked about this one, descending pattern here. I like to see this break higher off of this Kirby bar right here, support, and resume that move higher that we saw from 5105 up to 65, a nice 14 point run over the winter. The last time TNX weakened and REITs uh, started doing really well. Healthcare Trust, notice that a lot of these REITs are showing up. Another descending wedge pattern here. Looks like it's trying to break out. Bollinger Bands are tight. That means that we're going to see increased volatility in the, in the near future, hopefully. We're above the Kirby level. We found support along this level. And very easy for us to pop higher. Not guaranteeing that, but you see stochastics winding up and MACD turning. So with increased volume and RSI moving higher, we could see higher prices on Healthcare Trust of America, HTA. Host Hotels, we talked about this one. Note the narrow Bollinger Bands, and we have support of the Kirby level here. Look at all the green volume in this Kirby bar that's building up here. I'd like to see break to the upside on higher volume. MACD's turning, Stochastic's already led the way, and we have these nice uh, volume bars here, and RSI continuing to turn higher as well. So it looks, looks good on HST Hotel Host Hotels. Mortgage REIT cruising right along the 50 period moving average. You see the green line here. Price is consolidating, could move higher. Note it's in between this Kirby bar and this upper Kirby ceiling. So, Kimberly Clark, I looked at this one the other day, I didn't do anything with it. Noted that the 50 period moving average was holding prices. Bollinger Bands are now expanding. Look for a breakout above 113.93 if things continue the way they are. Stochastics led, MACD's pretty much sideways and serpentine pattern here moving higher on volume. We talked about Latin American shares, JWN. Looked like we saw some profit taking finally on JWN after we saw this breakout of this trend. And we got two plus on this trade. We're just watching what's going on now uh, going into the rest of the week. O, Realty Income Corp, continues to grind along the upper Bollinger Band and the 10 period EMA. We noted it back here when Bollinger Bands were squeezing the last time it showed up on the scan. And it continues to look good. Simon Property, one of my favorites. I know GTO likes to trade this name as well. Note the nice breakout here as we pointed out on JWN before. Um, we're dealing with this Kirby level here and we could see higher prices. Look at the volume. Really nice here. Stochastics leading. We got a wind up and MACD turning to the upside. This is probably one of my favorites going in to the end of the week. It closed at 167.66. Looks pretty good. It was up 95 cents on the day. Texas Instruments, we looked at this one along with uh, Cirrus Logic. Uh, we liked Cirrus Logic better, but this one's starting to move higher as well. Looking good. Bollinger Bands are breaking out now or expanding. And we're seeing nice volume, nearly 4.378 million shares. That's the end of the scan. Okay, so we only had like 13 or something like 19 candidates. Let's run another scan. Let's run the high tight flag scan. And we'll look at these 10 per page. Achilleon, I don't like these. These stocks that break out like this, I don't particularly care for, so I eliminate them very quickly. Maya Gaming, remember this one from this low at 561 up to this flag at 1163. We had a tight flag. We broke out. We had a buy stop here at 1180, 1185, I believe, and this ran up. And now it flagged again along the 10 period EMA. And now it looks like we're trying to break higher on a Maya, a nice Canadian name. Gold Miners, we noticed this one a few weeks back when it started to bottom here at 1332. 26 was 100% pull here, and then a flag, and now we're breaking higher. This should look really good. 43 is probably in the cards very quickly on JNUG, the Direxion Daily, Direxion Daily Junior Gold Miners Index, both three times shares. That's hard to say. 
and no prices are getting above the Kirby and they could launch here very quickly. Pixel Works, this was a nice one off the 468 low and seeing a $9.30, 36 cent 100% move, looks like we got a nice flag here below the 90% threshold, looks like we're moving higher though and we got all this green volume on Pixel Works. I'd do some homework but this looks pretty interesting. TGTX, this is flagging again, we had a nice move off the 442 level, we had 100%, we had a triangular pennant here, tight flag, tight pennant, and we're breaking out of that level. Could see higher prices fairly soon on TGTX. Consumer Stables did quite well today, we had a couple of good names. Walgreens, we noted the inside day still hanging there at the 50 period moving average and this descending wedge this one still looks iffy could be a short if it breaks down through the 50 period and this lower trend line uh, with a stop above the high of Tuesday's range also Whole Foods we were watching that one inside day Harami on that one as well we liked Walmart, that was looking really good. Had a nice move up past two days. Three white soldiers on the breakout. You like to see these uh, white soldiers down at lows versus at highs. So we're, we're down, we have a nice pattern here breaking through the 50 period moving average. And note the Bollinger Bands are now expanding. This one continues to look good if you took it on Tuesday or Wednesday. We got the 618 up above have 7776 to deal with and we have a vacant Kirby so we could push above that level. It's the second time we're testing that level. Also we liked Procter & Gamble we posted that chart earlier blew right through the 618 doing much better than I anticipated but um, it looks great nonetheless. That's because look at the Kirby up here there's no volume to resist this move higher. No selling volume. There were no sellers here per se. This thing moved so fast to the downside that it didn't really have a chance to build a lot of uh, supply up here so that's why it's taken back off taken off again and looking for these 8298 levels 83 in the near future I would expect to see a flag soon it's pretty much the same as we saw on IBM let's take a look at technology IBM applied materials looks good IBM we like that one we had a nice chart, nice flag. It was trying to break out here today. Looks really good though. Trying to stay above this Kirby level. Note the red part of this these volume bars, volume and price. Stochastics needs to get its act together. Also, Cisco, we mentioned this one today. We saw this nice break of this pattern. Bollinger Bands started to expand after they had squeezed. We got shaken out. On Monday we got back in and it looks to be a smart move on our parts. Above the Kirby there's no resistive volume up here. This one could, should continue. I don't know when earnings are, just make sure you check. Broadcom, BRCM, we were watching this one. Bollinger Bands are squeezing, Keltner Channel is moving higher, RSI is above 50 moving higher huge volume here, MACD is turning, Stochastics already led the way and it looks like it's going to embed like it did here previously. Note how price action continue to move higher. We got another squeeze, I'm not sure what the news is on Broadcom. On the 7th, Monday we covered Cirrus, we saw this breakout coming, we got a flag now. I look to see a move higher, RSI continues to move higher. Nice volume, MACD is turning and we got RSI we got Stochastic's leading prices. Also, Gentex, Mikey mentioned on uh, Monday or Tuesday, I believe. Nice break of trend. We've got this Kirby to deal with, and we look like we're flagging here. We have another inside day after an outside day, or very close to one on Tuesday. Still got lots of nice volume, though, on Gentex, GNTX. Some of the other cyclical stocks we've been watching for the last couple of weeks, some of them were in. Mikey has BWA, Borg Warner, note the pattern here, pull back to breakout. We tested the 20 period moving average and now we're breaking higher. 
Decker's Outdoor continues to consolidate along this Kirby bar here and we still see uh, indications that stochastics could get oversold while prices are moving sideways in a small range could see higher prices. Ford we mentioned earlier nice pullback to breakout level here and pushing higher Bollinger Bands continue to expand 50 period moving averages moving higher as well as the 10 and the 20 and we have a flat 200 period that should turn up this kind of action continues GPC we mentioned this one today before lunch I believe pull back to breakout on the past two days and today we saw a nice rebound off of that level stochastics could get a little oversold Gildan GIL we have a position in this name continues to flag we've had this since Monday and um, continues to look good GM we mentioned this one as well along with Ford today continues to look good. Bollinger Bands are expanding. The MACD and Stochastic could look better as well as volume, but RSI continues to move higher and the pattern just looks better. Sideways action we're continuing to move higher above into this Kirby where there's very small, very limited volume on the downside of this acceleration to the downside. There's less supply up here to trade against. With your tire, we mentioned this one as well, GT. We like to trade this one. I'm hoping for a breakout here so I could trade this uh, to the upside. We don't have a position just yet. The volume is building and Stochastics is turning. Looks like it wants to move higher. And note where price is consolidated right along this Kirby bar here. And we had a nice hammer here on Tuesday. Kate Spade, we had this flag here. We're moving above it currently. Stochastic says recycling and note that it's turning on Kate Spade so that looks good. We'd like to see some increased volume and RSI turn back up as well as MACD to make this uh, a better trade. We've got to get back above this Kirby level and this trend line, these pivots. Note the action on cores. We have this, these lows here. We're trying to move higher. Here's a 200 period moving average and a 50 just above. Ralph Loren this one's been doing quite well. We look for this to flag above the 200. It's exactly what it did. And it looks like we're going to try to break higher. Note that the upper Bollinger Band is moving higher and the lower one is turning. That just means typically prices will grind higher along the Bollinger Band and the 10 EMA versus both of these expanding quickly like we saw here and here where prices accelerate quickly uh, as volatility expands. Stochastics is turning and looking good. Russia, Russia Enterprises, we got stopped out of this one on Monday when we took out this low. Typically we trade these breakouts and what we do is we put our stop in below the previous day's trading action low. That enables us to follow the trend while not babysitting these stocks. But note the Kirby bar here. Price is held that was a big shelf to deal with. My mistake on not holding this a little bit longer, but I took the discipline and took the trade off when it did take out the low last week. SNA. Steve Madden, we mentioned this one today that it might fail or fade. It did not happen. We took a, saw a little profit taking at the end of the day, and we have this Kirby to deal with up here. But we did break out, and we had a nice run off of this 31 level nice four dollar run over the last few weeks on shoe on Steve Madden looking pretty good Toyota Motors looks like it's going to test the 20 period and the 200 period both in the same location and this Kirby bar here it could turn around today we saw buyers these past two days so I wouldn't be surprised to see this bolt to the upside Stochastics is nearing an oversold level and could turn any day Tempur-Pedic we had this nice cup pattern, a breakout, a flag, and we came down and tested that level right here. If you extend this line, looking pretty good on Tempur-Pedic. Tesla, really great pattern. Came right down to the 50 period moving average, $214.27, and we bounced today. See a three candle reversal, low, lower low, a higher low, taking out this candle's high, and now we want to see it, this candle taken out tomorrow and the 10 period. That would be great. 
Note the Kirby level here as well. Tata Motors, not to be undone by General Motors and Ford as well as Tesla. This could move higher. And our last group of charts, we'll call it a day after this one. Nice cup and handle. Cheryl, I know you're watching this trade. Looks like Under Armour is going to break out. We'll readjust these, this handle to take into in consideration to take in consideration these pivots and see look for a breakout above the 6079 level. We'll figure out stops later. Okay, so that's going to do it for me for the trades for tomorrow. This is Cousin Benny coming to you from theclosingprint.com where I have quite a few videos here for new traders. These top three right here plus this one right here on how to use stochastics and MACD with Bollinger Bands, how we trade. When I mentioned stochastics leading, this video covers that, as well as how to use a daily scan to find better setups. Also, come check out our blog. If you click here, you can check it out. You can also enter in the direct address, which you can see here. Okay, take care. I hope this helps, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm still on vacation, so keep that in mind.